We're talking about Jojo Siwa, but before we talk about Jojo Siwa, oh my god, clean up your room! Jojo Siwa just came out with a new song called Karma, not to be mistaken with that other song called Karma, or that other song called Karma that I like, but I will get scrutinized for admitting that out loud because everyone hates AJR for some reason. You can't bully me out of liking their music. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, too far gone. I found them when I was 14 and me and the bonds, the trauma bonds I had with random pieces of media and music back when I was 14 years old, not even God can break that bond. Racism can, <laughs> bigotry can, but outside of that, Nothing can break that bond. Besides, this album, this album right here, this album was everything to me, minus that one song. We don't, we don't talk about that one song. Lots of people are focusing on Jojo Siwa these days because she is changing up her brand and we have to care about that for some reason. A lot of people have been comparing her rebrand to when Miley Cyrus did her little rebrand many moons ago. A lot of celebrities who got their start as child stars usually get their fame from making family-friendly content. So when they grow up, they wanna distance themselves away from that part of themselves. With Miley Cyrus though, Miley Cyrus, she's she was my hero. I love her. Yeah, Miley Cyrus, she was Disney's golden child as many people know. Like she is the success story from that channel and there's not gonna be another one. Do you know what's playing on the Disney channel these days? Outside of Phineas and Ferb, I guess, nobody knows. Nobody's watching and nobody cares because you're not gonna get another Miley Cyrus out of these flops. No offense, but <laughs> sorry, that's so mean that's so mean i'm sorry sorry they're catching strays they d they didn't deserve that i apologize hannah montana though we were like this that that that's twin right there <laughs> hannah montana she was my idol if i knew how to do blood rituals when i was seven years old i definitely would have summoned satan just to have the chance to visit her walk-in closet from the show it was huge and it was like on a rotating platform and the and the clothes were like on a conveyor belt why don't rich people make st I, you know what i'm sure there's rich people out there who have conveyor belt closets, but I mean, not enough. I watch house tours on YouTube. Not enough if you have those. I'm just saying if I were you, I would recreate her closet in a heartbeat, but whatever, whatever. See, this is why I'm not rich because this, this is, these are the financial decisions I'd be making. <laughs> Jojo Siwa is not that much different from Miley Cyrus in the grand scheme of things. Hear me out, hear me out. Jojo got her start on Dance Moms and then later became Nickelodeon's golden child. Jojo Siwa was basically their Miley Cyrus. Me personally, <laughs> I've always thought that Nickelodeon was like Loki, <laughs> like the Timu version of Disney when it came to their live action television shows because I wasn't watching any of those. Henry Danger, The Thunderman, uh, I don't know. That Anubis show, people talk about the Anubis show and they're like, yo, this show was so good. Nobody was watching that. Stop lying. And then people are coming out of the shadows being like, OMG, I loved the show. I'm like, who are you people? Who are you bots? You guys are literal bots. Kidding, if you liked that House of Anubis show, okay, let's be for real. Nobody was watching those shows but I digress. But yeah, due to me just like not taking Nickelodeon seriously at all, I don't really think that Jojo Siwa is at the same level as Miley Cyrus back when she was at her bangers era. But then again, I could be wrong. I don't know. I. Uh, the internet is just a lot different than what it was 10 years ago. So I, I feel like it's just, it's not fair to compare it to because Jojo Siwa has like 47 million followers on TikTok. Like that, that, that's a lot of people guys. It's just, it's different. It's just, it's different. And I don't think it's really fair to compare the two. I, I just, it's just, it's really hard to like really pinpoint it. Cause if we're just doing numbers alone, I don't know. I just, it's just hard, okay? It's difficult, don't ask me to do that. But at the same time though, despite me trying not to compare them, Jojo Siwa's mom did say that she wanted to help Jojo become the next Hannah Montana when Jojo got signed to Nickelodeon, so... I don't know, in a way they kind of did that to themselves because why would you compare yourself to the Miley Cyrus, the Hannah Montana, best of both worlds Hannah Montana, rock star Hannah Montana, this is the live Hannah Montana, I got nerve Hannah Montana, Ordinary girl, <laughs> I can do this all day. I love her. I still listen to her music. I was listening to it earlier. They can't make me hate you, Hannah Montana. I love you, Hannah Montana. Maybe it's the nostalgia talking, but Hannah Montana, she was more for the girls. She was for the future bad bitches. Jojo why you can't compete with that. I don't care how many followers you have on TikTok. You can't compete with that. Last I checked, you didn't collab with the Jonas Brothers on arguably one of her best songs, We Got the Party. Ah, I love the version of We Got the Party with the Jonas Brothers. Stay calm world, stay calm. 
Jojo Siwa. She is in her can't be tamed era at the moment, which just looks like an evil version of her unicorns and tight ponytail era, but whatever, it's fine. People have made jokes about what's going on with Jojo right now. And you know, they, I, they, they, they put their input in, but I'm not gonna give into that temptation. That's not what this video is about. I'm not gonna sit here and make fun. Of, no, I don't care. Yeah, if she wants to make mature music, then cool. World star approved over here. But that's not really why I'm here. That's not what I wanna talk about today. Some people have brought it to my attention that this whole rebrand has been a smoke screen for something that she's been trying to hide from the public. Hmm, interesting. You can't distract me by performing those weird ass dance moves, baby girl, you can't do it. I'm on to you. Why are the bangs parting like the Red Sea? You see that? Like you see how my bangs were like, what is going on up here, dude? Why are the strands social distancing? On February 13th, Rolling Stone published an article titled Jojo Siwa promised them pop stardom. They say they were thrown in the trash. The Rolling Stones? What? Oh, no, 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 no. The Mighty Mighty Boss Stones. You know, I'm not really familiar with that outfit, but I do love trying new things. It's a lengthy article, and I'm not going to read you the whole thing, because what is this? A bedtime story? Do you want me to tuck you in too? Turn on your nightlight? Tell you to sleep tight and not let the bed bugs bite? Grow up! I will have the article linked down in the description for you if you would like to read it on your own, though. You, you're going to have to put in your email, though. I don't know, just keyboard spam and then put at gmail.com at the end and they'll let you through you'll be okay. That's what I did. <laughs> I encourage you to read the whole article because you will get extra credit in my class if you write me a whole book report about it. In short, the article depicts the mistreatment that a disabled girl had to endure while being a part of Jojo Siwa's dance competition show and child dance group. In 2021, Jojo Siwa and her mother, Jessalyn, Jessalyn? Jessalyn. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll call her Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Sorry. Jojo Siwa and her mother, Jesselyn, started filming their reality dance competition called Siwa's Dance Pop Revolution. 11 kids were put through a series of challenges and were competing for a spot in Jojo Siwa's dance group, XOMG Pop, with an exclamation point. It's, it's part of the name. You, got, you have to add the exclamation point after the pop. You have to. It's part of the name. All right. It's like Panic at the Disco, but minus Brendan Urie. Thank God for that. XOMG Pop with an exclamation point. It's basically just a bunch of mini Jojo Siwas performing for children, and they're actually going on tour this summer. Yeah, the tickets are like 40 to $50 if anybody was planning to go. If I were you though, I would invest in the $200 VIP tickets because I finna be in the pit. <laughs> we're not letting her live that down. I would attend one of these XOMG pop with an exclamation point shows, but unfortunately I did have to sell part of my soul to go see 21 Pilots concert this summer. Yeah, I'm going on the Clancy tour, let's go. Yeah, the ticket prices for that, by the way, appalling, disgusting. I hope Ticketmaster gets glaucoma and gonorrhea and glucose poisoning and any other disease that starts with a G. Genshin Impact. Before we get started with the article, I would like to make this abundantly clear. These are allegations. Shoujo's legal team has denied these allegations on behalf of the Siwas, and these are all alleged events. Please do not sue me for this. I have a wife and 2.5 kids. Also, I can't go to jail before the second Five Nights at Freddy's movies come out. I need to see the second Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Markiplier might be in this one, guys. I can't miss that one. The article was mainly about a 16-year-old Leah Sanderson and her mother, Angie Sanderson. Um, I don't think, I think Leah's 16 now. I don't think she was 16 at the time of these events. <sighs> I, I think. Not entirely sure. They didn't really specify in the article ages, but Anyway, so it's about Leah Sanderson and Angie Sanderson, since they were the only ones that were willing to speak openly about this. I think the other moms signed an NDA and they were the only family that didn't sign an NDA. So I think that's why they're the only ones talking, but I don't know, that's just a theory. <laughs> Angie, the mother, has accused Jojo Siwa and Jessalyn for mistreating the girls in the group by making them practice for grueling hours, verbally harassing them, and making the kids fall behind in school. Why did I say it like that? And making the kids fall behind in school! Like, I sound so happy about that. I'm not. This type of treatment was a huge slap in the face for Leah and Angie because Jojo's on-screen personality is so nice, and they thought that them being selected for the show would open so many doors for Leah. At the end of the day, the girls were on a reality show, and you know how reality shows are, you know, re reality shows, they need good ratings and tension is the best way to milk that shit, dude. Allegedly, Jojo and Jessalyn, they would intentionally make a toxic competitive environment 
which makes sense because it is not a competition. But, but you need to also understand that they're still children at the end of the day. Oh my God, hair in my eye, hair in my eye, boundaries. If I recall correctly, one of the kids that was in this group during the competition, uh, they, the, 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 the youngest person there was eight years old. Um, what is going on here? I'm getting the, the heebie-jeebies. Friendly competition is fine. But you need to understand where the line is. And apparently the Siwas crossed that line constantly. There were these two girls on the show that were constantly being compared to each other because they were both blonde. So yeah, that it was because they were both blonde. And it, it really, it got so bad to the point that one of the girls actually ended up dyeing her hair just to make the berating stop. Like that's crazy. Like she dyed it mid season. By the way, there's only one season of the show. So she dyed it mid season. I don't know, I guess blondes don't have more fun, whatever that means. Hair color politics, it's always been so weird to me. Oh, he won't like me because I'm not blonde and I'm brunette. What if I put a bomb in your mailbox? I'm sorry. There was also some ableism that allegedly took place on set on two separate occasions. There was w another contestant on the show who had hypotonia. 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 I've heard it both ways. Which affects muscle mass. And Jessalyn was mocking her body movements and making fun of her mannerisms. It was weird. And she like made fun of her manner of speech. Weird shit, dude. There's a separate incident with Leah because Leah, she actually has a birth defect uh, in her spine. So when Leah was a full-time member of XOMG Pop with an exclamation point, her belly button started bleeding because of her spine issues. And the Siwas basically said, thug it out, mama. Apparently they told her to put a maxi pad in her bodysuit to like cover the bleed. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically the Siwas, they just did not accommodate or really care about the girls who had ongoing health issues. And it sucks, but a lot of people put up with these kind of like awful conditions when it comes to the entertainment industry because of the payoff. The Siwas would allegedly dangle the possibility of fame in front of the contestants' faces and make them feel grateful for the opportunities that they have, even if the opportunity isn't ideal in like reality, you know? It's a damn shame. Can you imagine being given the opportunity to potentially follow your dreams only to find out that it was one big scam job? It's like going to heaven and finding God smoking crack. It's like going to heaven and finding God smoking crack. Leah and a few other girls were eventually chosen to form the XOMG pop with an exclamation point group. But as time went on, being chosen felt more like a punishment than a reward. The girls would have to practice for long hours. And I'm talking like nine hours a day, dude. And they barely had time to actually, oh, I don't know, attend school because they're, oh, I don't know, children that need, oh, I don't know, an education. But I digress. A lot of child stars do school remotely. And, you know, usually like the teachers or they, I don't know who does this, but like there's like, a log of the actual activity and like how long they actually participate in school. And so in December of 2022, Leah had only done six hours of school for that entire month. The girls also had to do extensive shoots for social media, which brings a huge issue that a lot of people have when it comes to influencer culture. As we all know, Child labor in the entertainment industry has been a huge issue in the past, and luckily there have been laws that have passed to try to protect the kids. You know, unfortunately, Hollywood is still a cesspool full of Dan Schneiders, so the industry has a long way to go when it comes to that. But at least there are some laws that try to protect them. With social media, however, the law has yet to catch up. A lot of people, including me, have issues with family vloggers and adults who basically just exploit children for views. Despite how we feel about family vloggers, there haven't really been any concrete laws against it. And it's, I don't know, it's just, it's stupid. And it's mainly because of the old farts in Congress that are too busy doing uh, nothing. I'm convinced that half of those fossils don't even know that they're still alive. Like they're just, they're staring at a wall with a blank stare. It's just, it's really sad. So we're just watching a bunch of people go senile and make arbitrary laws. God bless America though, right? Land of the free, home of the brave. With X O M G pop with an exclamation point, the same thing applies. The group has amassed a huge social media platform with their YouTube being their most followed place. Like they have over 12 million subscribers over there, which is fishy. Cause it's like, didn't they just form this group yesterday? 
where do these people come from? Until you scroll down a little further on the on the on the page and you realize that it's it was Jojo Siwa's old YouTube channel and she just rebranded it for XOMG Pop with the exclamation point. Wow. Look at all those Colleen Ballinger collabs. Toxic gossip train. She'll never let that down. And I won't let her. <laughs> Whatever she does, we're not gonna forget. If Colleen Ballinger has zero haters, then I'm dead. Leah and her mom were in a financial pit when they were in the group because LA is expensive as shit. And Leah had to go to the hospital due to her health issues. It was just, it was becoming too much too fast, really. Angie wanted to stay in California and support her daughter because, you know, this, this was her dream. But the work schedule was a nightmare. Finally, Angie snapped at some point and she just went off on the other moms which inevitably it got Leah fired from XOMG Pop with an exclamation point. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm just gonna call them XOMG Pop with an exclamation point. <laughs> you know what the biggest kick in the nuts was for, for this whole ordeal? It, it, it's that the group, they were still using promo with Leah still in it. And they were selling merchandise with Leah still on it, despite her not being in the group. And Leah never saw a penny of that stuff. And even when she was in the group, Allegedly, they never saw a penny of the merchandise sales and they were never compensated for brand deals, music video shoots, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, it, it, like I think at one point they were like a little bit compensated for something random, but it was not nearly enough to do any real damage. It was like just a couple thousand dollars. I don't even know what it was for, but it just, it was pocket change in the grand scheme of things. Despite all of this alleged mistreatment, the girl group didn't become as popular as the C was thought. They were apparently supposed to do all of these like big projects, like this Christmas movie, but whatever, it doesn't matter because it never happened. I guess you could say that karma is a bitch and she should have known better. A lot of people are saying that the song is catchy. I admit it's a little catchy, but you know what else is catchy? the bubonic plague. So, you know, securing Megan Trainer on that Christmas EP was just, it was not enough to keep that group afloat. Yeah, they they, they, they booked Megan Trainer for an EP. I don't know. Megan Trainer seems like she has a good heart. God bless her. But yeah, despite Megan Trainer and her best efforts and, you know, unfortunately those lips, they were not moving fast enough for them. Unfortunately, you know, they just weren't all about that base. Insert another Megan Trainer joke here. Didn't matter. And the group inevitably it really it, it just was a failure i mean they're still posting and there again there's that tour that's coming up this summer but you know for the most part the group is kind of just a flop womp womp i do feel bad for the girls though um you know they're they're innocent in all of this and they you know they just wanted to follow their dreams i really show any pictures of the group themselves because i didn't want them to be the subject of scrutiny as i'm talking shit about the whole thing <laughs> like i don't i don't want you to think that i'm trying to uh throw negativity at the girls specifically because it's not their fault. This is about the Siwas channeling their inner Abby Lee Miller and becoming these ruthless managers, allegedly. What's that old saying? You either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. I should get that tattooed on my ass. Yeah, right there, get a tramp stamp, it's a good quote. We should all get it, matching tattoos, matching tramp stamps, let's all get it, yeah. Who's with me? I'm down. If you're down, say I. I. What's even more shocking is how Jessalyn allegedly acted, allegedly, throughout the whole show and the whole girl group process. Like, she's a mother. Jessalyn, she's a mom. And she was at ground zero when Dance Moms was being recorded. Like, if I remember correctly, actually, didn't Abby Lee Miller not even want JoJo Siwa on the show in the first place? Like, you would think that the Siwas of all people would be more thoughtful when it came to their method of managing a group of young girls. But I guess that's just not, that's not always the case. What a shame. What a shame. Again, this is all alleged information and the CWAS legal team denies the whole damn article. There are many details that I left out in this video because I, I just didn't want this video to be me paraphrasing the article because it, it, you could read the whole thing in 10 minutes. Like you don't need me to tell you but I digress. I just think that these allegations are extremely unfortunate and I hope that Leah is doing well emotionally and physically. Uh, losing an opportunity like this has got to be such a blow in the ego. Like this must really suck, you know? Even if the CWAs were allegedly terrible, you know, at the end of the day, this was a, an opportunity. They lost it. Despite everything, it's like, it's really, it just, it's icky. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm, I'm apologizing. I didn't do anything, but 
I'm sorry. And I also feel really bad for the mother, Angie, who had to put out for so long and was barely reimbursed for the whole thing. Leah is not Angie's only child. They had to leave multiple children behind back in Texas just to support Leah's endeavor. And for what? And <laughs> for what? All of this for what? Jojo Siwa released her new song and sure, I could sit here and make fun of that, but that would also require me to care to some degree. And I don't. Let her kiss girls and make whatever the hell that gesture is. There is not a song on the goddamn planet that requires you to be doing all of that. <laughs> It's really easy to blame Jojo Siwa solely for everything that allegedly went down with the OMG pop with an exclamation point group because it's her face and brand on the line. But, you know, we have to remember that her mom, she is just as culpable, if not more culpable because she's a grown ass woman that should know better. Listen, Jojo Siwa, she's not absolved from criticism at all simply because you know she's the daughter but let's not forget who else was in the room and encouraging this awfulness as well allegedly allegedly anyway that'll be it for today's video if you like the video so did i you're not special <laughs> Why do I do that every video? Sorry. Some people were commenting that in like my boy mom's video when I yelled subscribe, the little subscribe button like lit up. I didn't even do that on purpose, but I remember Markiplier talking about that in one of his videos. So maybe I'm gonna start doing that. Subscribe! I'll just jump scare you. Subscribe! If you like the video, like the video, like the person, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the person, do whatever you want, I don't care. All my links to my social medias will be down in the description. What can I say? I, I, I am Mrs. Worldwide. I am everything, everywhere, all at once. I'm gonna eat my mango now. Why?